Loved the way that he competed. Loved it. And, uh, you know, got to eliminate the, the mistakes. I, I think that the one, you know, there to Josh, I thought that the protection kind of dictated that, that throw, that miss. Um, and then the other one, you just have to make a better decision. But love what he was able to do um, after that and, and just competed and, and finished and looked, kept his eyes downfield and, you know, just got to take care of the football. Or backups yeah, I thought it was okay. I mean, yeah, it was it was good. It was good. You know, they had the one drive there, and you know, I think that that has to be better. But you know, that was the we allowed them into the red zone, and we 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 didn't force them to kick a field goal. So during the regular season, you know, when they get in the red zone, you're going to have to try to force them to make kicks. What went into the decision for Dillard to play as long as he did? <laughs> Head coach's decision. What did you see from him uh, tonight, tonight and just his progress to this point? Um, well, he didn't play last week, but it was cool to, to see him be able to, to run through some, you know, a couple catches and, and have a good day. I think just the consistency and the volume and you know, the, a lot of the details for these young receivers. It was just the, same, the thing that I keep seeing. But I thought it was a, a good game for him. It was an important game for him. To, you know, had a good week of practice. Um, so we'll take a look at the film, but just I would say continue on that path and clean up some of the little details. But it was good to you know, see him show up down the field tonight. You were able to get Badgley some, some uh, a good volume of chances. Uh, how much? Uh, what, what do you take from what he did? Well, I mean, we've got to make him, but you know, I thought he. Bounce back, and you know, we'll take a look at it, and we'll, we'll work through, you know, his performance, and, and see what that looked like, and then, you know, go from there, just like we will everybody else. But, you know, disappointed, and, and I know he, you know, would have liked to have had that one back, but, you know, it's unfortunate. Like to the, the fact I know you guys prioritize kind of knocking the football loose from the quarterbacks too. I think you got. Two or three of those tonight. Uh, good, good sign as you get ready for the regular season. Yeah, I mean we have to, call, you know, I mean if we're going to keep turning the football over, we better create, create more than what we're giving away. You're hoping to get more than three out of Ryan, or just just to let that unfold with the three stop. Nope. Just three. Malik's ability to kind of come back from those mistakes, those errors, and compete, like you said. Is that a sign of the development you were really hoping to I, see? I think. I mean, you're going to throw some interceptions in this league. And to go back out there. And, and again, I don't know if Malik's going to tell you this, but we had called the play, and, and maybe he didn't hit him earlier. And you come over as a coach, sometimes you say, hey, that was open. And you, you maybe chase it, and you have to know if it's not there, it's not there. And so... You know, we try to do that in practice. It's going to be, a, I hope we can learn from this. We try to do it in practice with the ball to Nick Westbrook, right? We try to do it from the game and come back in the scrimmage. And, you know, we had two guys drop underneath Nick and try to run the same play. And, you know, he, he kind of threw it into coverage. Now, it wasn't intercepted, but, you know, we told him, hey, just because we're trying to come back and, and correct it and make sure we can move on, um, if it's not there, it's not there. So that was another case of that, and we'll have to uh, – you know, make sure that just because we say it was open one time and we call it again doesn't, doesn't guarantee that it's going to be open the next time. But I felt there was a competitiveness um, and, and guys were, were working hard for them, especially there in the second half. We, we have to start faster. That, that's, uh, that's obvious. How do you feel Pierre Jackson did to kind of help himself, you know, to replace Phillips while he's out? Yeah, and I mean, I wouldn't say, you know, yeah, replacing Kyle or anything like that. I think he just, I thought he had a good showing. You know, I thought the play extension and the ball coming in there in the end zone and being able to go up and, you know, catch it and high point it and catch it in front of your eyes and, you know, thought he probably, I probably nitpicking probably could have returned the one that he fair caught on the 10, but, you know, that's why I wanted to try to give him another opportunity there late in the game and you know, got north and south and we started on the 40 yard line, 16 yard return. Guys like uh, Plum Four and Pico coming in. Late to camp, uh, making an impact in the preseason game. They're showing up well enough to make some tough decisions for regarding defensive line. Then, mm -hmm. yeah, like that's the whole idea. You know, try to create as many decisions uh, and competition at, at each spot. And you know what I mean, 
Michael keeps showing up. Pecco finds a way to get to the game, banged up, knows how important to me. He's a veteran. He knows how important these games and these evaluations are. And, but, uh, you know, Michael gets in there and shows up and is productive and has, has great play speed. Murphy getting another sack. Obviously, you know, the consistency in games, you've kind of seen that with him. Anything that surprised you with his growth throughout camp to this point? No. I mean, I think that, it, you know, that's, again, it's a full group. You know, there's a bunch of guys there that are competing for spots. We've got, you know, a couple guys that, you know, we know are going to be here. Uh, and so that group behind there has, has been competitive. And, you know, Caleb's, you know, continue to work and develop. A lot bottled up to, to let out. What would you think of what he was able to do out there and what it bodes for coming up? Bottled up to let it like you liked how he played? Is that what you're saying? I think you probably liked how he played. Yeah, I wouldn't have phrased it the way you phrased it, but I thought that <laughs> um, Danico is a is – a, um, I, mean, I just – I like – he's an old soul. He is a uh, – you know – no nonsense type guy. I mean, he has a just earn everything mentality from the time that you know, probably he got to college and then was undrafted. And he's he's fought for everything and, you know, try to tell our young players, this is this is a great example. You know, you guys should try to emulate him. And so you know, we also try to take care of him a little bit and get him what he needs and but he shows up and he'll he'll fight and compete and you know love that he's here. What, what's the final preseason game like for you, Mike? You guys guys have busted a four year off seed and now the process starts the next couple of days about saying goodbye to some of these guys. Well, I mean I think that's part of it, Jimmy. You know, as a player, you know, having been through it. Um, and then certainly as a coach, you try to be as respectful, knowing that as respectful as you can, knowing that you're not going to be able to keep everybody. Uh, you try to be uh, as honest as you can about you know, why it didn't work or what may happen in the future or guys that we want to work with on the practice squad or, you know, it's, it's part of our game and, you know, it's something that I think, you know, everybody tries to do as, as respectfully as possible. We all have to start faster, start better. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess. Like, we're trying to play, figure out guys that can play swing tackle and guys that can play inside and you know, give us the best eight on game day. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, we come off the field, we talk to Tim, we talk to Charles, and we try to figure out what they're trying to do to us. We try to figure out what we're going to try to do the next drive and understand that we can keep working through it and uh, we can come back to stuff. You've got a lot of work in the preseason, all three games. I mean, how do you feel like that helped you kind of progress as a quarterback? I think it was cool just to get back out there with pads on and uh, being in live game situations, understanding uh, that we just got to keep converting, getting first downs, understand when we need to, you know, take the loss and punt, um, and just to keep figuring things out, you know. Can you walk us through the touchdown to Kiera? Uh Initially, he wasn't open. Uh, I scrambled out to the right and found him in the back of the end zone or the front pylon. Do you feel like you have done a better job of putting bad plays behind you? You threw a couple picks, but you responded with a couple long drives after that. How much is that just forgetting what happened before? And is that something that wasn't easy at first? I mean, more than anything, you just – you want to try to be imperfect. You know, I was trying to be perfect, and you can't be perfect. It's not a perfect game. And you got to understand the people on defense get paid, too. And uh, it's going to be about who continues to keep going after the mistakes and who fights for the longest and the hardest. Well, like you guys had a 90-yard drive and another 83-yard drive. How much do you enjoy just the, that time in the huddle on long drives, long where you're just marching down the field? It's awesome because you see those guys want to finish it out. You see those guys want to fight. You see the defense getting tired, and you just try to – do your best to, you know, let those guys know, like, hey, let's do this. Like, let's finish this off. You know what I mean? Let's get points here. You've played a lot of that offensive line for three weeks now, too. How, how much have they improved here during the course of the season? Oh, they've grown leaps and bounds, you know, and uh, that's just, you know, for the hard work they put in, watching the film, uh, correcting it, uh, and just staying on the same page and continue to stay positive and keep working. So that's how passage you threw to chestnut. Is that any 
tech and maybe a play where last year you might have just took off and run with it with open field and throws, but you kept your eyes down the field and, and found an open field? Uh, I'm not sure I would compare it to last year. We got a new offense, but uh, I think in that situation, if I had somebody, you know, slightly covered, I might have took off if I seen those man coverage. But uh, I like Julius on that, and uh, he's been making good catches for us, so uh, I gave him an opportunity. It's pretty clear that you've made progression as, as a player. What would you say has been your biggest area of improvement, what you're most proud of that you've been able to improve? I think the most important thing has been really figuring out those mistakes and trying to correct them and not taking, you know, weeks and months to correct something, maybe taking, you know, a few moments and uh, understand what's trying to get put towards me and how can I fix it, you know? And along those lines, you know, part of your position is taking the punches. You had the one turnover and you went on a touchdown drive the next time you touched the ball. You had the second turnover and you went right back on the field and scored again. I mean, that's just the, you got to be a goldfish in that short-term memory at your position? Short-term memory for sure. Each play, really, because uh, you just can't, you can't be worried about the last play and execute the play that you're in right now, so. Is that something you've had to work on or is that something you've always had? That's something I had to work on. I think there's a lot of stuff to clean up. I think there's a lot of work. I'm proud of the guys and the way they fought throughout the whole preseason. Uh, just people, you know, guys down and other guys stepping up. I think it's been awesome that people get opportunities and it's just been cool. What kind of things did you do to work on short-term memory and putting those mistakes behind you? Like, what, what does that process look like from, you know, drafting to Malik today? Time, that's all, more than anything, just time and uh, understanding what this league is about, you know.